Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Pelican Edelstein Inks comparison. This is Pelican Edelstein Inks comparison number two. So I think let's go and swab up some of these inks. The first ink is Pelican Edelstein Mandarin. So let's do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a very vibrant sort of orange ink. You can see there, it's a little bit more on the dry side. But that's the second pass, so we can see how well this ink will look in a wet nib. So this is Pelican. Edelstein and it's Mandarin but this is a really lovely orange ink and this is probably one of my favorite orange inks there's a number of favorites like there's Pelican Edelstein Mandarin there's uh, Mont Blanc Lucky Orange and also Sailor Gentle Apricot and also Kin Makusai. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein and this is Star Ruby. And this was the 2019 ink of the year. And this was given out at all of the Pelican hubs when back in a lifetime we were able to congregate at Pelican hubs uh, in September. Uh, and that was 2019. Of course, coronavirus now has put a little bit of a damper on that one, unfortunately. But hopefully we can all meet up soon again. So let's do an ink swatch here. And this is an ink that I like a lot. Now, a lot of people do say that Pelican Eel Sign inks are a little bit dry. I have found that on some of the inks, but on a lot of the inks, I find them quite well lubricated so this is pelican edelstein and it's star ruby but that is a really nice pink ink the next ink is pelican edelstein ruby so this was the ruby in the main range, not the uh, ink of the year range. So this came out before Star Ruby. So let's do an ink swatch. And you'll see here that this really is more of a ruby color. It's quite a faded red that I find. So we'll do a second pass here. So this is Pelican. Edelstein and it's Ruby but you can see quite a bit of difference there between Star Ruby and Ruby and I have to say although I'm not normally into pink inks I really do like Star Ruby and I have had that inked up continuously since I've got my Platinum Curadas and that is inked up with Star Ruby and I absolutely love that ink. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein and this is Garnet which is another red. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Do a second pass over the top there just so that we can see the difference between a wet and dry ink this is pelican edelstein and it is garnet and this is another favorite of mine i really do like pelican edelstein garnet 
And I would say that I actually like that a lot more than Pelican Edelstein Ruby, but that's just me. Let me know if you prefer Garnet over Ruby. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Topaz. And we'll do an ink swatch. And I find this a very well lubricated ink. Do a second pass there, just so that you can see the difference. So this is Pelican, Edelstein, and it is Topaz. And this is a really lovely sort of light blue turquoisey color ink it's an ink that i really like writing with uh, i used to like uh, pilot Washizuku compeki a lot but this has been my go-to ink a little bit more recently over compeki and then the final bottle is pelican edelstein and this is onyx now we'll do an ink swatch and because this is onyx this is going to be a black ink and I don't usually go for black inks, but I received this as a gift. And to be honest, it's actually out of most of my black inks, probably my favorite black ink. So this is Pelican, Edelstein, Onyx. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So we have the Pelican Edelstein Mandarin, which is a really lovely orange ink. It's a little bit more on the pastel side, I would say. Uh, it has a little bit of shading going on here. You can see the wet versus a dry nib pen. And I'd say it's almost a little bit of a reddish orange, but it's a really nice orange. So there's a little bit of shading going around the pooled areas. Uh, there's no sheen, though, on Pelican Edelstein Mandarin. We then have Pelican Edelstein Star Ruby, which was the 2019 ink of the year. And you can see here there's quite a bit of shading going on around the pooled areas of ink. Uh, there is no sheening, though, on this ink. But it's a really lovely sort of hot pink colour, I would say. And then we have Pelican Edelstein Ruby, not to be confused with Star Ruby. Star Ruby is the ink of the year and Ruby is in the uh, normal range of Pelican Edelstein inks. But Ruby is a little bit more of a faded red pink ink. It does have a little bit of shading, but not a lot. It also has some little bit of gold areas here of sheen, and it's very hard to really show that on camera. Uh, I'll try and see if I can get that for you there, but it's very, very subtle, but it's quite a nice sort of uh, faint sheen going on. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Garnet, which is an ink that I do like a lot. It's a red ink, but it's a little bit more on the browner side of red, I would say. Uh, a little bit more, say, terracotta type uh, color. Now, you do get some shading here. Um, you can see the difference between a wet and dry nib. And there isn't any sheen going on there. But it's a nice colored ink. And then we have Pelican Edelstein Topaz. And this, for me, really is a lovely replacement for Compeki. Uh, I like this ink a lot. It does have quite a bit of shading around the pooled areas. You can see a slight difference between a wet and dry nib there. Uh, but that is a really, really lovely blue ink. And then we have Pelican Edelstein Onyx. And this is a black ink, and it's pretty black. If you look at the colour of the writing uh, there, that is quite a black ink. Now, 
most black inks don't do a lot of shading. Uh, you can see a little bit of difference between a wet and dry nib. Uh, it does have a little bit of sheen going on there. A little bit, but not a lot. But if you wanted a black ink with a sheen, then that might be one to take a look at. So this is my Pelican Edelstein inks comparison number two video. If you like any of these inks, then do let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if you have any other Pelican Edelstein inks I have not showcased in these last two videos of Pelican Edelstein inks, then do let me know in the comments below. So this is my Pelican Edelstein inks comparison number two video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.